Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and today a little bit of an airsoft adventure. Today we head down into Leeds or Hunslet specifically and we're going to have a little visit at Johnson's. Now Johnson's is a little bit off the beaten track and you will end up getting your shoes muddy and dirty and certainly your car a little bit muddy down there as you actually end up down near the warehouse and they tend to specialise in reenactment things and basically it's a large army surplus new and second store so we're going to head down there have a little look around and we'll also have a look at some of the weapons that they've got in stock and i'll explain a little bit of what it was like down there what we found when we got there and overall our general experience so let's head on down into hunslet and have a little look around johnson's now we didn't actually find this to be the easiest place to find so you are probably going to want to use a sat nav system or something like that and it will bring you down fairly close down to the industrial estate way down deep in Hunslet and you end up actually coming down this dirt road and as you can see there is stuff all over the place quite an interesting place visually down here I certainly wouldn't want to be walking around here on a night time on my own when there's no lighting very out of the way as you can see, there is tents here. It looks like there's old disused bombs and missiles and everything that you could want down here if you were doing reenactments and things like that. And they also say that they hire out kit and things like that for films and TV programs as well. So as you can see on the floor, it gets a little bit muddy down here on the way in. So here we are going into Johnson's, the main warehouse entrance. And as you walk in, you're kind of like bombarded by the amount of clothing they've actually got in here. And you can also get boots and watches, knives, the usual stuff that you find in army surplus stores. But this place is really quite big. And from walking up and down these aisles and having a look at some of the clothes, there is literally everything in here. So if you're looking for your German officer suit, if you're looking for Spetsnaz, if you're looking for anything Russian, German, English, MTP, Desert, Combat, uh, MBC suits, it's literally everything is down here and as I mentioned some of this stuff is new, some of it is second hand so if there's anything specifically you're looking for for reenactments you're probably going to find it down here. It's not just the modern military stuff that they actually supply. They also have kits in here, so if you want to play as the Redcoats or you want to get into the Napoleonic Wars, all that sort of stuff, you're going to be able to find it in here. A huge amount of ceremonial knives and daggers and scabbards and, and all sorts in here. So if you're into that sort of stuff and you're looking for somewhere in the kind of Leeds area, this is probably where you're going to be able to go to get all those extra stuff, all the real authentic equipment. Now prices in here were very reasonable and between me and you, you don't always pay the price that is on the hanger. If you go up to them and say what were you doing me for this, you can probably get it. They also do mail order so if there's anything you actually want, they'll post it for you as well in the post, Bob's your uncle. As you come out of the entrance and down towards this porter cabin, this is where they have their range of weapons. And while it doesn't have the largest amount of weapons in here, it is quite selective in it's the usual stuff, the para, the shotguns, the MP5s, the LEA1s, and all the good stuff that we love, including some M4s. Now they did used to have a firing range and a lot more stock, but due to the floods in Leeds about four or five months ago, and that's why they have a limited stock currently. But I have been told that within the next two months they've got a rather special shipment coming in. They didn't want to tell me, but they said they would let me know if I wanted to come back in about eight weeks and do a little update and a little interview, etc, etc. So some good stuff in here. So if you're in Leeds and you're looking for something that's close by, you can probably get it from these guys.